हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू सेल्फ फोर सेल्फ यूट्यूब चैनल सो एज यू ऑल वर एक्साइटेड अबाउट द एल डब्ल्यू सी ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज सो हेयर वी आर विद द वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ एल डब्ल्यू सी ट्यूटोरियल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ टू सेट अप द एल डब्ल्यू सी एनवायरमेंट एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट योर फर्स्ट एल डब्ल्यू सी कॉम्पोनेंट फॉर सेटिंग अप द एनवायरमेंट फॉर एल डब्ल्यू सी वी नीड टू सॉफ्टवेयर वन इज विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड दैट इज अ कोड एडिटर इन विच वील बी राइटिंग द कोड and the second is salesforce cli the full form of salesforce cli is salesforce command line interface that will be helping us for deploying the code that is there in the local system to the salesforce servers now let's see how to install these two softwares into your system so first let's start with the visual studio code so uh, go to the browser and type visual studio code download and then there will be the first link that will be there you'll be going to that and then there will be three options that will be available one for windows another for ubuntu or linux and the third one is for mac so according to your operating system you can download the installer from there and after downloading the installer there will be an option or there will be a screen where you will be uh, clicking on next 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 and finish and then uh, the visual studio code will be set up onto your machine and for installing salesforce cli you need to again go to the browser and you need to search for salesforce cli download and again you will be having the first link you will be clicking on to that and once this website is there so uh, here again there are three options one is for mac windows and for linux so according to your operating system you can download that i'll download it for mac and let me download it so uh, after downloading this uh, you'll be opening this this will be the interface that uh, you uh, that will be visible to all of you and after that you need to click on continue and then install and whatever your uh, system password will be that you need to enter and install so this will be installing the this will be installing the salesforce cli into your system uh, so we need to wait for 3 minutes it is getting installed as you can see the installation is successful after installing the salesforce cli you need to cross check that is it installed properly or not so for that you need to open the terminal in ubuntu or mac or command prompt in windows so i'll open the terminal and in terminal you need to write sfdx space hyphen hyphen version okay and then you'll press enter and uh, it will be showing the current version of sfdx cli into your system if it is showing uh, the version that means that it is installed correctly So after installing these two softwares into your system now the next step is to install the extensions into Visual Studio Code why because that will be making your deployment process smoother now to install extensions you need to open the Visual Studio Code and here there is an option of extensions you need to click on to that and you need to search the extension and what extension that will be that will be Salesforce you need to type Salesforce extension pack okay so you can see that uh, there is an two extension pack in one there will be nine extensions and in another there will be 13 extensions so you can install any one of them i'll uh, install the nine one and click on install okay so it has been installed uh, as you can see now there is a two option of disable and uninstall so i'll just close it it and then again go to the normal window of visual studio code if you have successfully reached till this step that means you have almost set up the environment only the last step is remaining that is to connect the visual studio code with salesforce org so for connecting visual studio code with salesforce org we need to go to the uh, menu bar in menu bar we need to go to the view option in view option there is a first option that is command palette you need to click on to that in my uh, screen there is a create project that is coming in recently used but in your system it will not be there you need to search it for and you need to search it for create project then it will be on to the top you need to click on to that after clicking on to that you need to wait for uh, a second and then the another option is there that what should be the template of that project there are three options mt uh, standard mtn analytics so standard means that by default some directories will be already created mt means empty folders will be there and analytics means the files which will be related with the analytic thing okay so we'll be choosing the standard one and then it will be asking the name of the project the so name of the project is youtube example and we'll after that it will be asking you that in which directory you need to create the project so i'll be creating in my default directory and you can see the another visual studio code uh, window has been opened 
with all the folder structure right now after that once we have created the project now you need to connect the uh, salesforce uh, visual studio code with salesforce or for that again you need to go to the command palette view command palette or you can press control shift p in the windows or linux or command shift p in the mac okay so command palette will be there now after uh, creating the project you need to authorize an org how you will be authorizing your org you need to again search for authorize and org and you need to click on to that it will be asking you for the url that which you are like which url uh, onto which url you will be logging in so it will be there project default production sandbox and custom will be going for project default and it will be asking for the alias so uh, we'll write salesforce hulk as an alias and we'll enter it onto that okay so you can see that automatically the uh, window has been opened with the browser with the login login screen and we'll be writing out uh, the username and that is salesforce hulk at the rate syntax.com and here we'll be writing the uh, password whatever your org password will be and once you are logged in into your thing uh, it will be asking you for the allow access you need to allow this thing and then it will be redirecting you to the setup part okay authentication successful you have successfully logged in you can uh, close this browser or window tab now you will be going to the uh, again to the visual studio code and you can see the pop up box authorize an org successfully run okay so that will be there that means your visual studio code and the salesforce org has been connected okay now after that the point is that where we can see our apex classes or our lwc components or all the other uh, vf pages or whatever you have created in salesforce so here is a folder of course app you'll be opening up that and there will be the different different directories which will be their application or our classes content asset flexi pages layouts and lwc so in this folder whatever you have created in your salesforce org all will be available in these folders okay initially these will be blank but how to fetch them from the uh, salesforce org you can see that there is a cloud sign that will be available on to the left hand side that is named as an org browser you will be clicking on to that right now no default org will be set you need to just refresh it and it will be uh, just fetching out the metadata and you can see that all the options are available here we are having an option of apex classes so if you want to fetch the apex classes from your org you will be having this uh, cloud sign that is retrieve source from org you will be just clicking on to that and whatever classes will be available into your org that will be retrieved into this visual studio code right now i am not having any component so that's why it, it is not fetching any of the classes but if you will be having any of the classes in your org it will be fetching into the visual studio code